Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Check it out. It's another video on the Exceed 4x4 crawler hopped up with DJI Digital FPV. You can see we have the goggles right here. There's the camera here. There's the air unit inside here. And I wanted to do another uh, video because I got some X-Air antennas on the goggles. The goggles now have, DJI has recently pushed that uh, 50 megabit per second update. So we should have a clearer picture, better range. If you remember the initial video, I only had the stock uh, DJI antennas. So we're going to test those antennas out with that new upgrade. I have also done some upgrades to the truck. If you remember correctly, I only had front wheel steering initially. Now check it out. I have rear wheel steering. So I put this uh, little servo on the back here with the linkage there. Uh, 3D printed some extra stuff. Remember this one was getting smashed. The antennas were getting smashed when it roll over. This is just a little 3D printed uh, brace mount here. And there's some stuff under the hood I also wanted to test out. Get FPV, they do the mods for this. This is the Exceed truck you can just buy online or wherever. But these guys, you can buy it straight from um, Get FPV, and they already put the Crossfire receiver system in here. Um, so I'm going to be using my Tyrannus again. This is the Crossfire system with the external antenna. So the main mods I'm testing, here's the air unit right here. There's the air unit. And this gives us the FPV for the digital, right? The digital DJI FPV. If you can remember in my first review, the air unit kept overheating because ground vehicles are a little slower, right? And it's a little hotter. These are basically made to be in the air and having airflow always. So um, GetFPV sent me this little 3D printed bracket that wraps around the air unit and it has a little built-in fan. So as soon as you turn on the power on your crawler, the fan kicks in and it keeps this nice and cool. So we're gonna test how all that works. Anyway guys, let's get started and see how these new mods do. This is gonna turn that camera up there. See my right stick roll is actually turning the camera. And I have this control mix. So this is actually gonna go make the truck go back and forward as well. And then my left stick here is going to be turning the wheels, the front wheels. And this one does nothing like the throttle he would normally have. And this is all in the settings you can mix as well. And then for the rear wheel steering, right? You're probably wondering how are you gonna do that? I have it on this pot right here, this little knob where there's a little indention where it kind of clicks into center. And there's the rear wheels kind of working with that new servo. So as I turn this knob fully, we get our full extension, right? I'm gonna start off on 25 milliwatt, which is the lowest setting. Then we'll switch up in the, the milliwatt, the power as we go. I do have the 1200 milliwatt mod on this too. So maybe we'll go all the way up to 12 uh, if we start losing signal. But what we'll do is we'll, we'll go and we'll get kind of where the image starts to get fuzzy or loses connection. Then we'll switch up in power um, incrementally and see how that works. And there we go. There's our FPV you'll have up. This is exactly what I'm seeing in the goggles. So there's my right stick moving the camera around. Can't go up and down with this camera, but at least we have a good left and right. And let's start going forward. So remember turning is with my left stick. And my son Kian should be following us. Can you, can you try to go to the left of the truck so I can see you there? There you are. Back up a little bit. There he is. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Okay, so he's going to try to be keeping this truck in center while we do our excursion around the subdivision. So remember, we're really just checking the range on this and all this stuff. And also, I want to try that um, four-wheel steering. So let's try that before we do anything. Hopefully, Kian has this in view. So remember my right pot, and there we go. So I turned it all the way to the left. Now I'm just gonna go strictly forward. Let's see how that's working. That rear steer is to the right, and then if I wanted to do a full on super hard turn, check that out. Pretty cool, huh? And then we've got our four wheel rear pot to the right all the way. And if we just go forward and uh, we turn, we can do super hard turns. Also, look at this, we can crab walk to the left. So we have all that functionality. Probably not going to be using that too much in this video, but at least 
that upgrade seems to be working really great. So you see how much longer it takes to turn in a circle without that four wheel steering. All right, here we go. So let's do our excursion. The main thing, remember, is the range for this thing. So I'm gonna try to keep it at maybe a steady pace. Remember we're in uh, 25 milliwatt right now. Ken, can you hear me? Test one, two. Yeah. Yeah. All right, perfect. Ken's on his cell phone, so we can keep in contact. He's gonna be watching traffic and stuff for me. So I might as well just do a little bit of crawling over these rocks while we're at it, testing all this stuff out. Man, I gotta say that picture even looks clearer than the first. Um, I mean, when the DJI goggles were first introduced, it just looks insanely clear, probably because of that 50 megabit mode. That's insane. Looks really, really clear. So I'm just gonna climb up some of these curbs. Let's just try the four wheel steering real quick. I think that's gonna be crab. I wanna go the other way. There we go. So if you need to make it like a super tight turn while you're crawling. Oh, there we go. Got stuck for a minute, but we're good. Straighten out those rear wheels with the little pot. That's pretty dang awesome. Okay, here we go. I'm just gonna crawl up here just for a second. <laughs> I can't resist. Can't resist it. So guys, this is exactly what I'm seeing in my goggles. Pretty cool, huh? So, let's say I wanted to do a super tight turn. Bring my wheels over. There we go, there's Kian. By the way guys, if you wanna check out Kian's channel, he's starting one up. Uh, it's a gaming channel, it's his gaming channel. I'll have the links in the description and I'll also have his card pop up. Um, he's trying to get into YouTube and he would definitely, him and I would appreciate your support if you knew somebody or you're into games yourself. Go ahead and check out his channel, um, give him some support. And maybe he'll be a successful YouTuber in the years to come. Really appreciate that. Anyway, here we go. So we're gonna go down the street here. Whoop! Sounds like their dog's barking. Okay, so here we go. We're in channel one and oh, that's something new. I don't remember seeing on the bottom left of the screen, I can see my, my channel quality. It's down to about two, two bars right now. All right, Ken, tell me when it's clear to go across the street. Yep, clear. Yep, clear. Okay, I'm gonna book it. So guys, this is the max speed of this truck. Feeling a little bit of wander probably from that rear steer, but nothing major. I mean, this is a crawler, so it's not like it's gonna be going fast all the time. So we're gonna head our way up this way first. And um, remember this is the crossfire system, right? So. Uh, on the controls, so I, I doubt we'll have any problem. The thing I'm worried about is, of course, we're looking at the DJI visual. Starting to get a little choppy and pixelated. I'll have that up for you so you can see it. Yeah, and just warn me if any cars are like going in their driveway or anything. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, man. I don't want it, them to run over this. So I'm just gonna go as far as I can, guys, on this 25. Over on the bottom right, I'm seeing it's really dropping down to like four megabit per second. And I think this is where it dropped out last time when we tried to go past these bushes. Yeah, see this pixelation? And I'm down to like two megabits. Okay, so I'm gonna switch up down to device and then max power, I'm gonna click and we're gonna go up to 200 milliwatts. That's the next step up. So let's try this for a little bit. So continuing on here, I'm kind of turning my head to try to face where I think the truck is. It's to my right a bit. So we're still dropping down to like four megabit per second link quality. I can see that there. Remember we can move the camera while we're driving, no problem. Down to like one megabit per second, getting super low. St 
still doable though, I mean, yeah, it's fluctuating between like 12 and 1 right here. There we go, it came in a little clear. Remember this is 200 uh, milliwatt power setting. We're up to a steady like 10 to 15 megabit per second here. Wow, it's looking great though. Okay. I'd imagine when I go out and watch this rock structure, I go behind it. Look how fuzzy that got for probably a brief moment. A little bit of lines. Yeah, so any kind of like concrete or earth vegetation. Now it's getting really bad. I'm down to like one megabit per second. So I'm going to change the settings. We're going to go the next step up. Device and let's go up to... This is 500 milliwatt, okay, power. So what this does is it's changing, it's telling the goggles to signal to the air unit that's on the truck. It's saying, change your power transmission to 500 milliwatt. Whoa, now we're going through like all kinds of houses and stuff. It's really getting pixelated. I'm kind of turning my head. To match where I think the truck is. Whoa, but look at this. It's getting really bad because it's just going through so many houses and stuff. Okay, so I'm going to stop here. We're at like 0.7 megabits per second and I'm going to go up in power again. Let's go up to 700. Let's see if that's any better. So we'll go forward, yeah, so it's a little clearer now. Still kind of turning my head left and right to get the best signal. Let's see, turning my head, turning my head. Yeah, we're like locked at 1.2 megabits and you can see how blurry that is. Pretty much intolerable, so I'm gonna go up again. Ken, you still there with me? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna go up to. Oh, weird! It won't let me go to 1,000. I think what's happening is it's such a bad signal that it's not taking my input. So, what can we do here? Yeah, image transmission stopped. Wow. Bummer. Pick the truck up and just start wa walking back. Yeah. And I'll tell you when it comes into range. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah I'm coming. Okay. All right, so Keen's gonna pick it up. Man, I would've thought this would've been better. I mean, there we go. Okay, um, just pass that driveway and then set it back down. A little further so you don't, you're not in their driveway. Okay, cool. So we got it back. It uh, looks like the recording stopped, so I'm gonna start recording again. There we go, so you guys can see that. So he just walked back, probably about 20 feet, set it back down. I'm gonna see if I can go back into these settings. So we skipped 1,000, we went up to 1,200. And yeah, my control is perfectly fine still. Let's go ahead and do a tight turn here. using our four-wheel steering. There we go, can't forget to turn it off or go back to straight, there we go. And let's keep going up the hill. Let's see if I'm standing up now um, from my chair. And let's see if we can get any further or if we're pretty much just maxed out like this. Yeah, I think, um, see if we can, maybe we can push through. Yeah, we stopped again. Hey, Ken, you want to pick it up and keep walking up the road? And then I'll tell you when signal comes back in. Okay. There we go. 
taking. I got reception, so just set it down right there in that bushes area. Yeah. All right, so it's saying I'm at five megabits. So this thing turns off, guys. You got to start recording again. It seems to want to turn off when it loses all signal. So I just turned back on. And you can see really just how incredibly um, pixelated it is. Getting a little better at times. Oh, that might also be the crossfire. See how it's kind of glitching out? Like, chick, chick, chick. It seems like that's the crossfire as well, having its limitations. So I'm going to hold my controller up a little as well. Yeah, so if you, if you notice these glitching, guys, that's the extent of what this radio can do. And it's going through all these houses um, and pretty much through like the whole subdivision going up a hill and all that stuff. Transmission stopped oh, again. Bring up in some of yeah, can you can you pick it up and keep walking up? Okay, Kian's gonna grab it and keep going. Okay guys, Kian has gotten reception. He's back in reception and I got video back. So let's keep going. All right. So this is basically a loop around my subdivision. And I think it was just because I was probably going like through the hill. Through like the entire hill. It seems like even if I point my head in other directions uh, while the thing is doing this, it's not too bad. Of course, when I do point my face like right where I think it is because of these Xair antennas, it does get a lot clearer. So I can see on the bottom right of my screen, you guys probably won't see this, but it's like 20 megabits per second now. And, um, yeah, by the way, this is like a great crawler. I mean, not too fast, but as you can see, it's got like a lot of features. I hopped this up myself with a rear wheel steering. I just ordered the parts. I'll have like the links to all the stuff I'm using in here. Dan, is it clear? Yeah. Okay. All right, clear to go without being run over go right up here let's try to do, I'm gonna try to do a crab uh, yeah let's do a crab walk over this thing or is that this way would be a crab crab walk I think yeah so crabbing up there we go see the crabbing that's pretty cool straighten out again and go full forward so I kind of have my head all the way around, um, not even facing the truck now. And I can still see it pretty good. Can you still following it? Turn my head to the left a little where it should be. Picture starts to get a little clearer. See how it does over this tall grass and weeds pretty good no hang-ups hey I'm seeing some chickens see how it does over this stuff oh okay keep on going down can okay, you still following it yeah yeah okay Oh, that rock's actually pretty small. It looked bigger in the video. <laughs> I'm not going to mess with their, their yard over there. Okay, cool. So now we're kind of getting down in the low point 
of the subdivision where the mountain is kind of the uh, housing and earth is kind of blocking it. See them? I saw the car. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I won't go until you tell me. So I want to shoot all the way across. What? It's clear. It's clear. I want to shoot all the way across. Is it clear? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeehaw. Uh-oh. So my signal, guys, that's from the signal dropping out. There we go. I think we got it back. I just had to hold the controller up a little bit. So it was just going down through, yeah, it's still doing a little, going down through all this earth and houses and subdivision. So yeah, it's just pulling a little to the left because of that four four wheel steering, but you know, that's pretty minor. Because you're going to be going slow anyway. Let's go up here a bit. Woohoo! Oops. Looks like somebody's planting there. I don't want to go on that stuff. So now I have really good video and really good control, of course, because we're getting closer to us here. Let me see if I can tune out this uh, little bit of wander. There it goes. Kind of tuned it out using that pot yeah i think that about did it now i'm just tracking pretty straight practice tracking a little bit to the right actually yeah that should be pretty good okay well let's come on home that was a good range test come through this grass see how this does through this high grass really no problem whatsoever Try to get through here. I see an opening. I'm gonna turn my wheels on. I wanna face them to the right. Okay, which way are the rear wheels facing? Oh, the oh, facing the left. Oh, good. Yeah. Okay, left, so I can turn hard here. Okay, let me straighten them out. Okay. All right, I'm gonna punch it through. Here we go. Nice. Yeah, made it through on its own. You didn't touch it, right, Ken? Nice. 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 Got through that pretty good. Okay, let's continue on, and then we're just gonna wrap it up and come home okay let me know when it's uh clear clear yep okay yep. yep. looking it Ooh, this is full throttle so again not a fast truck but gets the job done okay are you having to like jog or run yeah okay i'll go a little slower Man, really good precision though. Precision is awesome. Crawl up here. You still following it, Ken? <laughs> He's trying to follow it. Okay, Home, homeward bound here. And let's 
just try a little final crawling while we're at it. You can see how clear the video is. So this is 1200 milliwatt, right? So I probably want to turn this down, stop fry frying my brain. Yep, it was still on 1200. So I'm going to go back down to 25. So if you're doing close stuff, guys, keep it down to 25 until you really need to turn it up. Just save power and save brain drain from radiation, right? Let's do a little bit of crawling here. Nice. Yeah, man. I want to tr test out this four-wheel steering a little bit. So I have it turned to the right. This would be a super tight turn. Whoa. Felt like it was getting bound up. Let's try this. Left super tight. Awesome. So can you imagine this? Just having a day fun of virtual crawling. Not virtual, but real crawling, but through the eyes of the driver of your truck. How awesome is that? This truck can handle it. Hooked up high center there on that rock right there. The only thing I'd like to do is put like a 180 degree servo in so I can move my camera all the way to the back. And that's the thing I'm kind of having trouble to figure out. So. Maybe if you guys knew how to do that, how to um, make the throw. I did buy a 180 degree servo, but for some reason it just does the same thing. It doesn't turn the camera all the way back. Got to figure out how to do that. A little crab walk there. Actually, no, this, is, this would be crabbing. Turn it the other way, crab the other way. Straighten them out. Cool, man. Get over here. Oh, hooked up on that uh, axle. There we go. Right over. Okay, here it is. Dry island of Maui. <laughs> hey, guys. Thanks for tuning in. So there you can see my setup there on the face there's the goggles that's all i was doing was holding the controller like this sitting down and going all the way around my neighborhood so anyway let's uh wrap this thing up okay guys so what can we say about the exceed crawler with these modifications pretty awesome i did expect a little more actually from the 50 megabit um upgrade on this and also these xr antennas but the thing is, this is this is a setup that's mainly made for in the air um, flight, right? So, being that we're on the ground and we're trying to go around a subdivision that's a hilly subdivision, uh, it actually did pretty darn good if you think of it that way. Because as the truck was going up the hill, it was going through just like multiple houses. There's rock walls. There's actually earth going up that way, and then he circled around. We kind of lost signal. And then he walked and circled around. We gained signal again. And on this end, when he went down to the bottom of the road, that hilly road, it's actually going through some earth. So I kind of had to stand up in between there. For what it is, I mean, it did well. It definitely did better than without these XR antennas. The crossfire was also losing signal when I was sitting down. When I seemed to stand up, Everything did a little bit better, of course, because you have a higher perch point line of sight. But when I was sitting down, um, you could see, even though I was going forward, this signal was losing it. So I was doing this really choppy kind of um, in and out of signal response there. So even with a fast RC car, you can put this whole setup on a, you know, um, a basher truck. This is just a crawler, so it's a little more slow and manageable. And just have a blast with it put the servo on there if you wanted to or not just mount the camera up uh, put these goggles on and just have a heck of a time because it's like you're in the driver's seat right so you have that full 
control. But man, if you have a decent line of sight where you know you are stationed, where your goggles are stationed, and the vehicle, you can still do some really fun, awesome um, ground RC FPV. The fan really has not stopped once. Been cooling that air unit really good in there. Seems like it's still doing just fantastic. Ken, you're a super good help, man. That was super awesome. Thanks a lot. Hey, I gave you a little shout out, right? Yeah. In the video. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm beginning my own YouTube channel. Uh, it's pretty much just like funny gameplay with me and my friends. So if you want to laugh, uh, go check it out. Right on. Thanks, Ken, for your help and everything. All right, guys, anyway, I think that's going to wrap it up. I hope you really enjoyed the video. It was fun and informative for you. And lots more to come. Uh, probably gonna do now that we have this whole thing set up how I want it with the four wheel steering and everything. I really, really wanna get this thing like in the rock. So I'm thinking of maybe taking it up to, I live in Maui, so maybe up somewhere near the crater area and doing some like high altitude uh, volcano crawling. I think that would be pretty cool with this whole FPV setup. So anyway, guys, thanks a lot. Don't forget links in the description of everything I review here and also the gear I use to film my videos and me and possibly Ken will see you in the next videos to come. Thanks for watching. See you next time.